I'm going to tell you how to level up faster in Pokemon Go, fast as possible, leveling up in Pokemon Go ever. So I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So tune in. Hey guys, welcome back to my videos again. So I'm going to be teaching you how to level up faster in Pokemon Go. So this is going to be epic. So before you do anything, please subscribe. Hit the red button down there which says subscribe button and hit the like button for supporting me. Before anything, please comment below and tell me what did you like in my previous videos and why. So first thing first, you guys need to know about the experience stats. So experience stats are very important in this uh, uh, methods of uh, learning how to level up faster. So exp without experience stats, knowledge that you will be struggling to level up faster. So first things first, I'm going to be talking to you about egg hatching. So egg hatching, you get three tiers, right? Three tiers of egg hatching. There's another one which is seven kilometers eggs which come through your friend's gifts. But let's forget about that one. Let's talk about three egg hatches which is this 2km egg, 5km eggs and 10km eggs. So all these three hatches will give you experience as well as stardust. Let's forget about stardust at the moment. Let's talk about experience, how to level up experience using egg hatches. So first things first, let's say you get a 2km egg, you put it in an incubator, you walk it 2km, then you hatch your 2km egg and you get 200 experience from hatching an egg. So whereas you can double that by putting a lucky egg and you'll get 400 experience. So that's one tactics how you can get 400 experience with hatching a, a 2km egg. But think about hatching a 10km egg whereas you get 1000 experience and if you double that with a lucky egg, you'll get 2,000 experience. So you guys know how to get experience through hatching eggs by walking and throwing a lucky egg as well. So in the meantime, I'm gonna be telling you in the middle of the video how exactly this will help you to achieve your target of getting more experience to level up your Pokemon Go account. The second thing I wanna tell you guys about throwing bonuses. So you guys need to know the throwing bonuses. I'll put it down here what what it is all the details will be on the side where you guys can check how this thing's gonna work so guys first of all if you're throwing a pokeball at a pokemon make sure you curve your pokeball if you don't curve your pokeball you don't get that extra throwing bonuses throwing a pokeball with a curve and landing on an excellent throw it will help you gain more experience while you're uh, grinding for your xp let's say you're in a encounter of catching a Pokemon where you have to throw a, a curveball and it's a first catch and it's excellent you get a lot of experience through there so excellence gives you a hundred XP curveball gives you a 10 XP and a first catch uh, gives you a 50 XP so all that collected if you add all of that together and it gives you a certain amount of experience for catching them Pokemon whereas you, you throw a lucky egg with that and if you do that multiple times the amount of experience you'll be getting is horrendous it's a lot of experience through throwing bonuses so let's talk about pokemon bonuses guys uh pokemon bonuses you can get loads of experience through that so so first catch it will give you 100 experience catch of the day will give you 500 experience and if you catch a pokemon daily for seven days without skipping a day you get a lot of experience i'll put it down here on the side where you guys can see how much experience you guys can get through pokemon bonuses so egg hatching throwing bonuses and pokemon bonuses so all these three combined together the experience amount of experience you can gain through is a lot i know i'm basically telling you guys how to play pokemon go but this is one sector where you guys can gain your experience while you're doing that guys you need to collect your pokeballs and all your other items and stuff like that make sure you keep your pineapple berries because it will be very useful i will be telling you why i want you to save up pineapple berries so check a pokestop basically check a pokestop means uh you go to a pokestop you spin the pokestop disc and it will give you experience as well as 
items. So basically, like I said before, I'll be putting the stats for the Pokeshops experience on the side here where you guys can check and post the video if you can and check and get the idea how much experience you could gain through spinning a Pokestop. So there's two different Pokestops. One is you already spun before and this uh, the second one is you never spun before. So the second one is very valuable because it, it will give you loads of experience because it does have a halo on it and it'll tell you indicate that you never spun it. So if you spun, spin that Pokestop, you'll get 250 experience without a lucky egg. If you put a lucky egg, you'll get 500 experience. So if you go to an area with a lot of unspun Pokestop, all you have to do is put a lucky egg, just go spin all the items, I mean, go spin all the Pokestops around the area, collect all your items. While you're doing that, you can do all the things I told you before, catching, hatching, and all that stuff and all the bonuses, you'll get a lot of experience through that. So the next thing you guys need to consider, gym battling. Gym battling is not a big thing, but you will get experience through that. So I'll put the stats for the gym battling. I don't want to talk too much about the gym battling because it's just, it will go for forever. I just put the stats there and you guys can see what you can get out of a gym battle. So this one here is called raid battle experience, yeah? So raid battle experience, you get a lot of experience through raid battles. If you're part of a Discord, if you're part of a community, get yourself into a meetup, Saturday, Sunday, or any day of the week. There's people who does seven days a week, raid battles, just legendary raids. They put a lucky egg on, and they get like a lot of experience through that. And that's how people get loads of experience, even after level 40. But if you are under level 4e, thinking of getting into level 4e, this is one of the best ideas that I can give you. So basically I'll put the stats, how much experience you'll get in each tier, tier 1 to tier 5 and EX rates as well also give you uh, experience. So just go in there, get your experience, find people in your discord and meet up and go hit loads of raids. You can put a lucky egg on within 30 minutes of lucky egg and if you hit like at least four um, legendary raids so just imagine 10,000 experience for a legendary raid you get 40,000 for four raids within 30 uh, 30 minutes and if you double that with a lucky egg just imagine that's a lot of experience you guys can earn within that 30 minutes so guys this is one of the oldest method you can uh, get loads of experience but the Thing is, a lot of people use this uh, method a lot. Everyone knows about this. So if you know what I'm gonna talk about, please comment below and tell me what do you do to gain experience, okay? So so what I'm gonna tell you right now is mass evolving. Mass evolving is one of the oldest methods people use. Even now, people do use that while they go to another raid, to another raid, while they're using a gotcha to, or go plus to catch their Pokemons while they're running a lucky egg and stuff like that. So if you are if you can afford lucky egg, I would advise you to go into the shop, Pokemon Go shop, and find the bestest box that you can afford and get the lucky egg uh, and use it. Because if you go and buy 25 lucky egg, it's quite expensive, 1,250 coins, I assume. What you guys know, need to know about the experience on Mass Evolving, which is, 500 experience you get for an evolution. So if you put a lucky egg, you get 1000 experience. There is events, Niantic put once in a while, double experience event. Like for example, which is running right now, um, if you evolve a Pokemon, you get double experience. If you put a lucky egg, you get four times the experience that you usually get. So for example, let's say if you get 500 experience for just evolving on a normal day, and if you put a lucky egg, you get 1000 experience and if it's an event, it's another double. So obviously 1000 times 2 is 2000 experience for one evolution. Just imagine if you can do 100 evolution. Just imagine amount of Pokemon that you can evolve within half an hour. Let's say 50, you get a lot of experience with 4 times experience using a lucky egg and a double, event, uh, double experience event. And this will help you level up so fast that you wouldn't even believe that you are level 40 or above level 40. People 
people grind so hard for that one. So for math evolution, what I want you guys to consider knowing which is you need to keep certain Pokemon which you can evolve, which doesn't use so much candy, which some of the Pokemon it takes 50 candies to evolve. I wouldn't use that as a mass evolution. But for you guys to know, I want you to find Pokemon such as Pidgey, Wurmple, Caterpie, Beedle, and Wisma. All these five Pokemon are really good for mass evolution because you will only need 12 candies to evolve that Pokemon to their first stage. So I would advise you guys to save all the candies by using pineapple berries. Every time you catch a Pidgey, use a pineapple berry and use the um, Ultra Ball or use a Great Ball. So it will be a guaranteed catch. Not only that guys, um, if you guys know how to use a quick catch method, I will show you maybe next video. So if you guys can tune in next time as well, I will show you how to use the quick catch method in my videos. So mass evolving, you need to have a little structure how to use the mass evolving. Basically what I want you to do, go to your search bar in your Pokemon Go account and hit the search filter and type evolve. Then it will tell you all the Pokemon that can be evolved with the candies that you got available. For example, let's say if you want to type in evolve and type the Pokemon such as Pidgey, Wisma, Caterpie, Weedle and Wurmple. So if you write that in your thing with a comma every time you use a, a Pokemon name, then you should be able to filter only those Pokemon that you can evolve. So you can use those to evolve within 30 minutes. In this mass evolution thing, you can evolve up to 70. My highest one was 68, but for a normal high level or average fastest phone holder, whoever, they can evolve up to 70 Pokemon per 30 minutes. So if you guys are still here watching my videos, thanks for staying here and please do subscribe I know that some of you guys are not subscribed and you know me in real life as so, well and you tell me you, you've done a good job, this, that, everything but I want you guys to support me with the subscription, hit the like button and do comment so I, I know why exactly to post next time and stuff like that. So yeah guys, so in this video if you think mass evolution is one of your uh, top thing that you do, just comment below and tell me if that's the thing that you're going to be doing in the future or if you are a guy or girl who is doing mass raids just to get experience and um, loads of raid bosses obviously and please comment below and let me know if you guys do that so not only that guys uh, if there's a question that you guys want to ask me or anything just comment below let me know so guys there's another way of gaining loads of experience through friendship. So friendship is the easiest way to gain experience in Pokemon Go. So the first thing first, I want you to go down below on my uh, description. There's a website uh, I put on and that website, you go in there, you uh, drop your friend code in there and there's millions of people who goes into their website, they copy paste your friend code and they'll add you so basically all you need to do is accept them and send them a gift they'll send you one open the gift so let's say if you interact with them seven days straight you get another 10,000 experience okay so 30 days straight you get another sending gifts and opening gifts this and that you get 50,000 experience if you interact with them 90 days altogether you get 100,000 experience so if you lucky egg all of these you get a lot of experience. So basically people go through levels so fast nowadays using this method. So this website here down below will help you to gain levels so fast. This is the fastest method to get experience points and hit level 40 within no time. There's people who hit level 40 within a month of doing that. So basically what you need to do, you need to add 20 people on the friends list and send them gifts and when they open it you get experience right interact with them for seven days you get another 10,000 experience you get 
can double you can double that with a lucky egg so so just imagine how much experience you can get through this method while you're doing catching hatching bonus throw in and all the other stuff okay uh, raids and all this stuff so you'll be hitting level 40 within no time right so just think about this methods that I'm telling you and don't forget to like use these methods if you are if you don't know about it still and even if you know about it just go grind hard on this uh, levels and hit level 40 or if you're going for like 500 million experience trying to beat the uh, world number one experience holder go ahead and do that these are the easiest methods you can use if you know there's other methods that it will help people to gain experience please comment below and thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys later peace out z sad good